Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, or whenever you're watching this video. This is C. Temptation coming at you again with another commentary of Chicago Talk. Now, I want to begin this video by saying namaste, peace be on to you and everybody that is watching this video. <clears throat> now, today's topic, I'm going to be speaking about Donald Trump because allegedly um, it was reported this morning that he wants to start a stimulus package where he wants to offer the U.S. citizens, all adults, $1,000 and the children five hundred dollars okay now I'm not you know I'm not disagreeing with that all the way you know because that would be good for people that has been laid off from their jobs though I mean due to this uh, crisis with the coronavirus I'm not knocking that but I want to take this to a different level now I didn't see anybody carrying on like this during the uh, the, the HN1 and the HN what is it, the HN1 uh, virus, when that first broke down, when the bird virus first broke down, even when the uh, the crisis of the HIV first started, nobody didn't carry on like this. But it's really strange that soon the, this coronavirus came out, then everybody is making everybody stay home for two weeks and possibility that the military may be out in the streets, though, you know, in case people is out lurking and wandering. They're trying to quarantine everybody for two weeks, but... What I don't understand is, though, if he, if Donald Trump is that concerned <clears throat> about this virus, then why is it that he's not uh, making it mandatory for everybody in America to get tested? Because let's face it, family, you know, a lot of businesses are being affected. A lot of restaurants are being affected by this. You know, I have, and, yeah, and you know from my previous videos, I have a love for going to Planet Fitness. That is my hangout place as far as going to the gym. I always preached about staying healthy. Came to found out now Planet Fitness is closed because of this epidemic. So I had decided, though, I mean, to talk about this on this video. Then, plus, I have found out this past, I read this morning that it was a lady in Chicago, a black lady at that, who passed away from the coronavirus. Now, <clears throat> from what I read on there, that she was an asthma victim. You know, she's been dealing with that condition for a long time. And, you know, every once in a while, she had to be hospitalized for that because, you know, people do get asthma attacks, especially around the fall and the winter. Completely understandable. But when I had found out, though, that she had, um, she had, um, eventually down the line she had developed pneumonia and then she had tested positive for the coronavirus and she was a 61 year old lady though who was a retired nurse named patricia uh, uh epson i think gibson or whatever but anyway she was from chicago and she passed away she died from that now the part that disturbed me the most was though that lady lived not too far from my mother's house in chicago and I wanted to kind of speak on that, though, because if, if the president and if the officials are so concerned about this epidemic and this crisis we're in, well, why don't they just make everybody just submit to mandatory testing, though? Because I'm going to tell you something that even if people are currently laid off from work and say if they go back to work, it's not guaranteed they're still going to be safe. From the virus. I mean, let's keep it real. I mean, nobody is safe because you never know who's been around who or what they have. What just like I watched this video uh, a couple of days ago about an NBA ball player uh, who played for the Miami Heat. He tested positive for the virus, but didn't show any symptoms. So. Can someone answer that question for me in reference to that as well? I mean, they carry on. They didn't carry on with all these other diseases that came up in the past. So why now? And then not only that, though, you know, why they're not uh, kicking them no uproar? Because last year, I think it was between forty to 60,000 uh, people, 60,000 people that died from the flu. So now this coronavirus, then everybody wants to go through a panic attack. All of a sudden, they want to shut business down. You know, they want to uh, reduce, the, I mean, uh, reduce the businesses of the restaurants. You know, the transportation industry is being uh, suffering from this. You know, and something is, I mean, when you really get down and think about it, something is really wrong, you know, with this equation. I mean, because they weren't carrying on with these other diseases up until this one that hit. Now everyone didn't want to go to go through this, uh, this panic about, oh, well, we got to, you know, p put everybody on isolation. They can't go to work for the next two weeks, you know, but it's not guaranteed though. We're still going to be safe from the virus. So with that being said, they need to go back. Trump needs to just 
pass a bill where everybody has to go through mandatory testing of this virus before they're allowed to go back to work. Think about it. I mean, you're not safe, though. I mean, if you go back to work, I mean, who's to say that, you know, person will come up, come back to work, and they may have the virus and don't show any symptoms? I mean, think about it. That's really something to think about. So, ladies and gentlemen, please leave a comment on the bottom. Let me know how you feel about, you know, with the situation with this epidemic and why is it that they're not demanding mandatory testing for everybody? You know, because, you know, something is really missing and something is off with that and it just doesn't make any sense. And the main thing that I ask for is to share and subscribe. So... Guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up, but I thought I wanted to share those thoughts with you about that, that, you know, they need to start doing mandatory testing on everybody. Even if they do not show any symptoms of the virus, even I don't care if it's a sore throat or a cough or a sneeze, everybody needs to get tested for this. Otherwise, you know, this whole situation, you know, and the economy is suffering from this and it's really quite sad. And the way it's looking right now, we're leading into a recession period, possibly depression. So this is the time to get quiet and get still and realize that the creator is working within us and through us. And we and this too shall pass. We just have to stay strong on this. So that's pretty much all I got to say about that. So let me know what you think. Leave a comment on the bottom, you know, and that's all I got to say. So. With that being said, I'm going to say that I love you, I bless you, I have faith in you, and I realize the Creator in each and every one of you. And again, like I said, take care of yourself. Please take care of yourself because we're in critical times right now and it's very important. You have to take care of yourself, increase those greens, eat drink green and think green, you know, because this is the time we have to, you know, watch out for our body because our body is our temple. So I cannot stress more than what I'm doing. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Love yourself. Love yourself. Uh, love each other. And with that being said, I will see you on the next video. I bid you peace. I love you all and take care.